beneficial. I mean, how, how thrilled are you to get going Saturday? I mean, I'm very happy just to be able to go back out there and play football with my teammates. And, uh, just trying to get ready. After you've got the final talk with Riley, what was your thought process? I mean, just to jump into it. I mean, it was, it, it's a tough, you know, it was very tough, you know, just sitting up there thinking about it. We, he hasn't released anything or made a set decision yet on what I'm doing, so it was very stressful. I was thinking about it but this whole week, wondering what I'm what I'm gonna be doing, either six year or coming back to play against UCLA and I think made the best decision. I mean, what were your options? I mean this thing bouncing back and forth, I mean the pros and cons of what you were gonna do. Yes sir, I mean it's the whole thing, a six year coming back and uh, debating on whether if I get the six year and then uh, not only that, I think also the you know the pros and cons, you know. I mean, it's not even a risk factor, but I mean, it's just something that I had to make that decision. And once coach talked to the doctor and he told him how I was feeling, and the coach said, okay, if the doctor was like, okay, then he's good. he should be good. James, if, if you if you knew right now whether you would get the, the six year or not, would your decision be the same? I mean, if they said, yeah, you could have the six year right now? I mean, I don't, I don't think, I, I didn't want to take a six year, but if, if that's what I had to do, then I would have taken it. I mean, I already told Coach, you know, if a six-year was something I had to look into. And everything was based on how I was feeling. So if I was still hurting right now, seven months out, uh, then the six-year would have been something I would have looked into. A lot of people think you're you're coming back more of as an emotional support for the mm -hmm. team. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think you can actually get out there and, and, and do some things? I think me, me being out there might help the guys a lot, you know, just being, a, being vocal and, like you said, emotional. And I think that would probably help them out a lot. You gonna have any kind of uh, game day jitters? You know, it's been a it's been a year. I mean, it hasn't hit me yet, but right now I'm just trying to you know get this practice in and focus on the details and get ready for Saturday. It's your senior year. What are some of your goals for for yourself individually? See, I haven't even thought about any goals. My number one goal coming into this year was getting healthy, and I'm there right now and getting better each week. So that's that's all I can ask for. When you catch that first pass, and the crowd's probably gonna give you a loud ovation, are you gonna really be aware of that? And what are your thoughts gonna be? So I can't really worry, worry about that. I mean, I'm released now. Everything should die down a little bit. Uh, I'm just have to go out. If I make that first catch, then go out there. And this is just be another catch. This is something I got to stay focused. Can't. Uh, I got. I have to eliminate all the distractions. Were you a family at the game? Yes, sir. My uncle will be there. Okay. And you'll be wearing number one for the first time. Yes, sir. I mean, just a new, new number, new feeling. What are your thoughts on Mannion this week going into game week? How do you feel about him? I think uh, he's, he's doing a pretty good job, you know, making his reads and getting the ball down the field. And I think uh, that's that's helping us out a lot. I mean, he's, 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 he's like a leader, you know. Even though he's young, he's still a leader. Guys look up to him, and I think that's something that he uh, takes on. You're a real competitor. You've had to set out a lot and watch a lot of games. Where are the nerves at right now in terms of your first game when you came here going into this one? I mean, right now, it's just I'm just trying to focus. I don't want to get too amped up for the game. Uh, because I, I know I still have a job to go out there and do, and if I'm too amped up, then I'll probably blow a gasket or something. <laughs> uh, coach said that you're only going to play, you know, like a couple plays and then maybe take it easy and then go back out there. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of the game plan or what's? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's something like that because getting me worked into game time speed, so that's something we talked about, and I think that's a good thing. Do you? How far away do you think you are from game speed? Game speed. I mean, I feel like I can go out there and do some game speed right now, but at the same time, it's just better to help me. The more game speed I get, the better it will be. Does that knee brace hinder you at all? No, I don't really feel it at all. It feels like I'm running without one. Do you hope to return kicks at some point this year? I mean, we haven't talked about that. We're just trying to take it step by step. And uh, Right now, I'm going to start off on offense, and then if that time comes and I can return kicks, I will be back. What what would be a successful day for you on Saturday? I mean, I don't want to sit up here and put no no pressure on myself. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.